Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to write a one command command to summon in your contraptions with one command. Um, this is quite easy um, with the tools that we are going to be using. They are completely free and it's actually just one tool um, and that is Google Sheets. I'm going to leave a link in the description to Google Sheets. Um, for this video, I'm actually recording my screen, not the game, so we can actually see everything I'm doing. So, let's get started. Um, the machine that we are going to be summoning in with a one command contraption, one command block, I guess, um, is this. It's, we're going to start simple. Um, you can apply this to bigger contraptions. So basically all this contraption does is when you press a button it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 1, say 2, say 3, say 4, say 5. Um, when we start you need to take note that when you make this you are going to be um, building your thing relative to this command block here. I mean, yeah, command block which is on this um, row right here. So if I wanted to place this um, I would say set block 1 um, in the positive x, 1 in the positive z, and negative 1 down from this. So that's where we're going to um, do it from. So I'd recommend placing a block of sorts there, um, like that. Um, and that's all you really need to know. So let's switch over to Google Sheets here. So the link will take you to this site um, right here and you want to click on blank to create a new Google Sheet um, and it will look like this, looks like Excel. So we have to just wait for it to load, you'll see it says working up here and um, I think it's ready, yeah. So we're just going to call this one command block. So there is an order of how you're going to write these commands. So you, you're always going to start off with your um, fill commands. Then you're going to move on to your set block commands. Then you're going to move on to your initial commands. Then you're going to start placing down your command blocks if you have any. Um, and then you're going to destroy the system. Just destroy the... Um, minecart command blocks so now, so now we're going to start off the full um, the way I do this actually is quite simple all I do is I find the block that I use the most the main part of the structure and I'll fill from here to here with hardened stained clay 11 which is um, blue stained clay and then I will probably fill the middle part next with glass and then fill the middle with air so we can set block and everything but you don't need to actually fill the middle with air because um, you can just override it with command blocks when you place them and this so if you didn't get that I'll show you what I mean right now so we're gonna be um, executing these commands from this red wool so let's go back to our Google Sheets. So our first full command is going to be full, um, one in the X, one up, one in the Z, um, two, now we need to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven in the Z and one, two, three in the X. So let's go put it in. So. Um, 3 in the X, it's going to be negative 1 down and 7 in the Z and we're going to do that with stained, hardened, hardened clay 11. So let's go ahead and give this a test. So what you want to do is click on the block that you typed it in, just press Control C. Um, go to a different location like let, let's just stand here and where I'm standing is actually where the red wool would be so let's actually just make this a bit more visual here's the thing on the red wool so I'm just gonna paste in what we've written and you'll see it makes a block of the same size completely solid so let's go back to Google Sheets and let's create our next command so our next command will be doing 
we'll be filling a layer of stained glass in the, um, in the middle layer. So we're going to go fill, one, um, nothing there, one, two, three, nothing, seven with stained glass. So let's go ahead and test it out. Um, T, oh, oops, and control V. And there we go. So now our structure is almost built with our fill things. So that's all the filling we need to do. Now we're going to move on to the set block. So we need to set block a button. We need to set block a redstone lamp. And then we're going to do our initial commands, which I'll explain later what they are. And then we are going to move on to our command blocks. So if we just um, place a block here and let's just go to up like that, stand inside, fly. Um, I want to know what data value I need for the button. So I'm going to do set block, negative one down with a stone underscore button. Let's try one. Nope. Two. No. Three. No. Four. Yes. So we have to place a stone button with a data value of four on in in this area from here so to do that we're just going to go set block um it will be two in the z and nothing else and we're going to do a stone button four so if we just test that out um t slash there and as you can see there's a stone button the next thing that we want to set block is the, um, what's it called, the redstone lamp, which we're going to do the same too, but then we're going to go one back behind the button, and it's going to be our redstone lamp. So if we control C that, control V, and there's our redstone lamp. So now we are actually going to move on to the initial commands. And an initial command block would be something like um, a tell command that you only want to run once, um, such as this was created by Microspace, and or you could use it to create scoreboards, like scoreboard objectives, add um, numbers, dummy, or you can create all your scoreboards and stuff with this stuff, with, this, <laughs> with the initial command blocks. So all I'm going to do with my initial ones is just tell raw at a, um, oops, what have I done? <laughs> tell raw at a text, and the text is going to be created by MC space, I guess. Um, so that's all the initial commands I need to do. You can add as many as you want, scoreboards and stuff. So now that we've done that, we must go back into our game, um, stand right here, and now we need to know what data value um, must we do to see which way our command blocks must um, face. So we're going to set block, negative one down, um, with a normal command block, um, and we're going to try one, no, two, no, three, Yes, that's the way we want our command blocks to face. So now we know all our data values have to be three. So let's go ahead and see where this is. It's two in the X and two in the Z. So if we go back, we are going to do set block two, two with a command block um, three and then um, replace, you can either have replace um, and destroy, I think. I think there's another one, but I can't really remember it right now. And I don't want it to be auto, and auto it means like it either needs redstone or it doesn't. So I'm going to say 0B, and um, the command. Oh, wait. The command. Oh, yeah, yeah. The command is going to be say one now what you can do is we're going to have five of these so we're just going to drag it down one from this little bottom corner and instead of it being a normal command block we are going to make it a chain command block 
and then um, we can actually do we can just drag this down now like that and now instead of say one we're gonna make it say two and then this is gonna be say three this is gonna be say four and this is gonna be say five so that is everything and then all we need now is to destroy it which I will show you now we're just gonna do kill at e um, type equals minecart command block r equals 1 okay so now we've done all our commands we can actually move on to making the actual one command machine so what I'm gonna do is just move all of this down one and to do that you just drag it all go to the top here when the hand appears and then you just drag it so we've used column A and B so now we're gonna move on to C and C is just gonna be summon falling sand 1.5 up and the time always do that because I'm used to compress you have to do you only can use your arrow keys up here in this little column up here so the time is going to be one and the block is going to be activator rail and activator rail so activator underscore rail and it's going to have passengers which is the new like riding tag in 1.9 and the passengers we don't actually need those um, I'll show you that now so we can just leave our command just like that um, summon falling sand and then just leave one square bracket so now what we're gonna do is write another thing here we're gonna do open close bracket with a comma like that and inside we're gonna write ID minecart command block um, and we're gonna say command and that and now we want our command to be um, this row in B in the B row so we want our first command to be B2 so what you want to do is just add an equals in front of it and then a apostrophe you can actually take those away for now and then put a, another apostrophe here write and and now we can put our command in here so we want to make it um, be we want to <laughs> make it b2 and then we want to add another string so we're going to go and again a quotation mark um, and we want it to close off our brackets like that and a comma and there we go so if I press enter you'll see it added our full command in here um, with our comma right at the end. So now what we can actually do is just drag this down and we'll add all the commands in place like that as you can see. So you can see when I dragged it down all the B's actually counted up um, which means it actually put B12 here, B11 here. So we are actually almost done believe it or not. So we're going to take away the comma on the last one because we're not going to add anything more and um, we need to figure out what bracket this is, it's that bracket so we want to add another bracket, a square bracket and that bracket so let's cross our fingers and hope this works I'm going to control C that or you can just click up here um, click this row and then press ctrl C and we're gonna go back into Minecraft paste this in here and see what happens Ooh, oh right right so it actually worked we just forgot one thing and I'll show you what that is right now um, you want to actually edit these commands so our set block with our chain command blocks here we just want to change this to, to 3 change this to, to 4, 
because we want to make these um, chain on each other. Change this to 5 and change this to 6. If you remember we made it auto, we made the auto um, 0B. So what you want to do is just make it auto 1B. Um, so just change all the zeros to 1s and then the chain commands chain command blocks will be set to always active so if we copy this go back into our game um, control V and do that you'll see that it actually works we've got one two three four five our command works perfectly with um, the uh, minecart command blocks it works quickly um, and you can see it says created by MC Space every time we create a new one, created by MC Space, which was our initial one. So again, you can use that to create scoreboards and stuff. So that is all I have to show you. I'll leave that one command thing, this page here, um, in the description as well. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.